Hey, how are you guys doing? Uh, we're going to do the 2019 AMC 10A Problem 23. But if you're watching this video within the first two weeks of it being loaded, um, you probably want to see these announcements uh, or even maybe after that as well. Uh, coming up, the third The Puzzler Contest. Real quick note about announcements. A lot of people have been asking for them for various things. and I love to do it. I love to help you guys. But sometimes I just don't have time when I'm filming another video. So if I say I'm going to get to it and then it doesn't happen because I had a 30 minute window to film and I wouldn't have time to film both announcements and a problem, then I'm just going to film the problem because that's going to be more important for the people uh, who are preparing for the upcoming tests and things like that. But I apologize if I didn't get to something in time for any of you. I hope this helps. I did want to make this the first announcement about the Puzzler Contest. I don't know if you guys know who this is. His channel is linked in my channels. Uh, just a really neat individual. I won't go into too much about it, but very impressive. He's uh, holding his third The Puzzler contest. There's $1,500 worth of prizes. A lot of them are like AOPS gift certificates. What? I can't afford the AOPS books? Get a gift certificate for a prize. You just got to win it, right? Okay, so all grade levels can compete. Uh, this individual has designed all of this himself, uh, has his own website as well. You can check it out from his channel. The contest is January 16th. That's a Saturday. The info will be in the description or more of the info or links or something. Uh, the second one is the Online Elementary Mathematics Competition, OEMC. This is a collaboration of several different channels and individuals. Um, I, I can't remember the names off the top of my head. Explore Math helped in the daily something. I can't think of it. Um, anyhow, they helped to contribute the prizes. You can find out them in the description. I'm not going to refilm this just to remember those names. It is January 9th. It's coming up this Saturday. It's for 6th grade and under. That's really soon coming up. If you know anybody, you got siblings under, you know, the age of sixth grade or whatever age grade under the grade of sixth grade and below, right? Then they can participate and uh, they can get a prize, perhaps if they're good enough to get a prize. All right. And then lastly, uh, this company has asked me to mention this. I don't know how many of you know somebody if you're, you yourself might be homeschooled. Um, I know some people personally that are. So uh, there's a supplemental algebra course they've created and it's gotten really good reviews in their local area and they're trying to let more people know about it. The company uh, has called College Ready Math. The info will be in the description. There's a 15% discount for people who would like to uh, try the courses out. Um, I hear good things about them. That's all the announcements for now. I even have announcements of my own that were pretty big, but I don't have time to film them. I'll get to them in the future. We're going to get on to the problem. I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, and now for the actual problem of the 2019 AMC 10A Problem 23. I don't know why I chose some of these questions or this, did this one randomly. I just kind of did it recently with a student in a private tutor session. By the way, if you'd like private tutor, my email is in the about section. You can reach me there for tutoring or upcoming classes sometime in the new year. So Travis has to babysit the terrible Thompson triplets. Knowing that they love big numbers, Travis devises a counting game for them. First, Tad will say the number one. Then Todd must say the next two numbers, two and three. Then Tucker must say the next three numbers, four, five, and six. Tad must then say the next four numbers, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We see how this is going, right? And the process continues to rotate through the three children in order, each saying one more number than the previous child did until the number 10,000 is reached. What is the 2019th number said by Tad? Now reading that, I don't know about you, but my first thought is this had to be way back in history or something because modern day kids are not going to be counting to a 10,000. You'd be lucky to get to maybe a couple hundred and then they're checking out is my guess. There is probably not a whole lot to play with besides dirt or like a block of wood with a face on it or something. Oh, it's a doll, <laughs> right? So they didn't probably have a lot to do and this might have been very entertaining for them back then. So I don't know if that's true or not because it's a fictitious problem. We don't know who these people are, but uh, moving on with the actual problem. So, uh, focusing on Tad, we want to know the 2019th number said by Tad. 
So Tad is going to say the number one, right? And then they're going to say two numbers. Tucker says three numbers. And then Tad's going to say four numbers. So this focusing on how many numbers Tad's saying, not what the numbers are, right? We can add one plus four plus his next time he says it, he'll be saying seven numbers, correct? And all the way to, we don't know where, but we see it's going to be an arithmetic series of how many numbers he has said. Let's go ahead and find this arithmetic series. It's going to need the nth term. Uh, the nth term is going to be a sub n is the a sub one, the first term, plus n minus one times the common difference of three. You should know that formula. If you don't put it in your small formula notebook, this would be a D, this would be an a sub one. Okay, so then you're gonna get three n minus three. That's going to equal three n minus two. Now an arithmetic series sum is simply going to be the average of the first and the last, which is gonna be one plus three n minus two. Average means you divide by two times the number of terms, n. Okay, so what do we want with this? This is how many numbers Tad has said, and we want it to be close to this. Should it be equal? Only if the last number he says in a set is 2019, this is problem 23. What do you think the chances are of that happening? Yeah, not that high, right? So uh, probably not gonna be exactly 2019, but let's try to get close. Let's try something like, this is the sum of the first n. Let's try something like 30, right? So if you get 90 minus one over two, 89 times 15. Even if it was 90 times 20, you would only be at 1800, right? So that's not gonna get you quite to 2019. 30 is gonna be a little low. Use estimation so you're not doing complete calculations and wasting time during a time test. Okay, then let's try something a little higher. Let's try 40, right? Or you actually do this 90 times 15 is 90 uh, times 10 plus half of that. So it's about 1350 roughly. Okay, so that's really low. Let's go up to 40 and see where we're at. So 40 is going to be, uh, three times 40 is 120, minus one is 119 over two, and then we're gonna put that two into this 40 right here, right? So it's 119 times 40 over two. We will cancel this, we get 119 times 20. Two times 119 is gonna be 238 with a zero. That's a little closer, it's still a little high. Should we just keep guessing n values? No, I think we'll look for a little bit of a time-saving technique or something and see where we're at. U with 40 are at three times 40 is 120 minus two. You would be at 118. If you took off the 118 and you took off 115 and you took off 112, notice that these average to 115. And that's good because we can multiply it by three and go backwards because we're about 300 too high, a little more than 300 too high. So this is 115, three times 115 is 345. We will then subtract that. Where are we at? 2035, keep in mind, that means Tad has just said one plus four. He didn't actually say the 112, he stopped at 109, great. So somewhere in the series of numbers where Tad says 109 numbers in a row without dying of boredom, uh, he somehow is gonna end at this number if he would have you know, got there or whatnot. Also, what about this 10,000? Well, it's not gonna matter if, if the game ended before he got to his 2019th number, then he would never say it. And that's not one of the answer choices. So it's basically sometime in the future after Tad reaches this number and we don't really care when that happens. Okay, so, uh, well, when the number 10,000 is said, I guess, right? So then, uh, okay, so these are what he just said. How are we going to figure that out? This is his 2035th number at the end of the 109. Let's go back and think about what was happening in the beginning. He said one, then he said two. How many total numbers were said at that point? It would be one plus two numbers. Three, notice that's the last number said by Todd when he went. The next person, a Tucker, right, does it matter? They're all vowels that come after the letter T. Um, he says three numbers, 
and when you add that up, you get six. Notice that's his last number. These, of course, are the familiar triangular numbers. It's also a pretty standard arithmetic series. I prefer to think of them as the triangular numbers. Uh, one plus two plus dot 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 plus n is actually n times n plus one over two. It's good to memorize. This one's not that hard to memorize. It comes up so often if you do a lot of competition stuff that you should memorize it. But if you forget it, you can use what we did over here. It's the average of the first and the last. Average of the first and the last divided by two makes it an average times the number of terms, n because there's n terms, you're literally counting the terms. When you get to n, you've said n terms, right? So that's what we want. And we know that he, when he says 109 numbers, that means all of the numbers from one to 109, um, groups of numbers from one to 109 have been said. And when I add up one plus two plus three plus dot, 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 plus 109, whatever I get, will be the last number said by Tad. Okay, just like six was the last number said by Tucker after we added one, two, and three, the number of numbers said. This problem, by the way, has so many different patterns in it. There's all kinds of stuff. Uh, for instance, you could focus on the last number that Tad said, and you would say he says one, the next time he says 10 as his last number, if you check it out, one plus two plus three, all the way to seven, because he's gonna say seven numbers at some point, that's gonna be seven times eight over two, same formula, 28. And what you'll notice is it's plus nine, plus 18, plus, there's all kinds of this stuff hidden in this problem. There's so many things that just go crazy trying to think about all the different patterns involved. Let's just focus, right? Let's finish this problem off. We've got one to 109, gonna plug it in here, it's one, O nine times 110 uh, divided by two. Um, 109 times 110 divided by two. Um, that's going to be 109 times 55. Um, what am I forgetting? Uh, 109 n times, okay, all the way through. All right, I don't know. Um, so we're going to do this then and get uh, 5,500 plus nine times 55. Nine times 50 is 450. Nine times five uh, is going to be 45. So he's gonna say 5995. That's the last number he says when he says his 109 numbers in a row. But that's his 2035th number. It's not his 2019th number. To go backwards, you would have to go from here back to 2019, which is 16 numbers before this. You will simply subtract 16. If you subtract 15, you're at 5980. Go down one more, 5979. Sorry, I just did this differently last time when I did it on my paper and I kind of forget what I did, but it wasn't the same thing I did here and that's why I was like, wait, what did I forget? Anyhow, this is the answer, 5979. I hope it helps. Guys, it's getting close to the test. Keep getting that prep work in. You got Christmas break right now still, New Year's break, whatever you want to call it. Put in the time, right? It's going to be back in school really quick. Uh, let's, let's get there. Let's get to our goals. You guys have a good night.